BlackFacts.com presents the Black Fact of the Day for July 26. Executive Order 9981 abolished discrimination in the U.S. Armed Forces. Since the American Revolution, African Americans had served in the military, but almost always separately from white soldiers and usually in menial roles. The path to official integration began with the signing of Executive Order 8802 by President Franklin D. Roosevelt in June 1941. It signaled the end of racial discrimination in the U.S. defense industry, but the armed forces generally hewed to a policy of segregation throughout the duration of World War II. President Harry Truman issued Executive Order 9981 in July 1948, integrating the armed forces and establishing the President's Committee on Equality of Treatment and Opportunity in the Armed Services, an advisory body tasked with determining the best possible way to implement the new policy. It took six years to desegregate America's armed forces. In late 1954, the deactivation of the 94th Engineer Battalion, the Army's last all-black unit, completed the process. It was a crucial event in the post-World War II civil rights movement and a major achievement of Truman's presidency. In 1947, Truman became the first president to address the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People NAACP. Learn Black History, Teach Black History at BlackFacts.com